So it's finally happened. Vincent Company has finally been announced as the Burnley manager. It's It's been a long-winded process, hasn't it? Now, I know there's been issues with work permits and things like that, uh, mainly due to Brexit, apparently, I believe. That's what some people have been telling me anyway. Um, but it has taken a long time. But I'm delighted that he's finally here. Um, I know that some fans of other clubs, and even some Burnley fans, really have been saying, oh, it's too much of a risk, you know, we should have played it safe. I think this is the perfect way to go. Completely change the style and the ethos. Might take a year of consolidation in the Championship. Who knows, especially with so many big team players leaving. But I think that also, that kind of helps us change the style and the philosophy quicker. Um, so he's going to come in and he's going to do that because one of my biggest pet peeves is that Burnley fans, um, well, Burnley, sorry, I often get criticised by other fans as just this... This big boring hoofball team who, who, who just want to play football in a certain way, yard dogs and things like that. Um, but that's not Burnley that played that way. That was Sean Dyche that played that way. And it was only Sean Dyche that played that way in the Premier League. We never played like that under Dyche um, in the Championship. We're actually quite decent at going forward in the Championship under Dyche. But obviously, Premier League, when you're getting promoted from the Championship, it requires a different sort of style. Can't be going opening up at Anfield and City. Um, so you kind of expected it. Um, but I'm, I'm very happy uh, with this appointment. I think it's going to be a new era, a, a new dawn. Um, do I think he will do well? Time will tell. I, 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 if I were going to put my neck on the line, I think I think he will do well at Burnley Football Club. Um, it's looking like he's going to get backed as well. Um, that's a different debate, whether that's too much of a risk or whatever, we'll see. Um, but just speaking on Vincent himself and, and how he's at Burnley now, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with the appointment. I, I think it's... He brings good pedigree, mainly from his playing days, um, but still he brings a good pedigree within the game. He's going to, like I said, he's going to completely change the style of play. I, I know, it, I, I believe it is still 4-4-2, his favourite formation, but it's more of a fluid 4-4-2 uh, and more of a pressing 4-4-2, I believe. Um, but I'm very excited to see how, 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 he, how, how, he, how he plays. I'm excited to see the type of players uh, that he goes for now, because that's going to be the news over the next few days, we would hope, maybe weeks um, but some new players coming in, so that's going to start giving us a new sort of like Lisa laugh, and, and, and the fans can start feeling, you know, a bit more confident ahead of the season. Because I'm still, I am still good about Ben and Tarke, especially Ben, because obviously we knew Tarke were leaving for about two and a half years. But um, I do think that this could really, really sort of like get the ball rolling with a different type of player. Because obviously he's going to have contacts. He's going to have contacts at Man City. He's going to have contacts, obviously, in Belgium as well. Um, so I am very, very excited with this announcement. It's, it, I was starting to lose my patience with it a little bit um, with how long it was taking, but you know it's totally understandable, like I said, with the work permit issues and things like that and the backroom staff as well. I think that was part of it. Um, but excited for the season again now. Um, whether or not we'll do well this season, like I've just said, I'm not too sure, but it depends who we bring in now. It really, really does. So ask me again in about six weeks as the season's about to start, You know when we've got all these new players, hopefully, uh, whether the youth players or, or, or people coming, you know, from from Anderlecht, because there's been a few rumours about some players there. There's been a few rumours about players at City. Again, these could just be lazy links because they're the obvious links for journalism and things like that. Obviously, sometimes just lazy journalism happens, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, actually, really, really excited, and I, I am very, very pleased with the appointment. And somebody responded to my tweet, and and they summed it up perfectly. They said, in a way, he's already done what he's been brought in to do. He's raised the profile of the club again. And I think I've just seen that he's trending on Twitter uh, and so a Burnley Football Club. You know, it makes us you know a bit more marketable, um, especially for play football in, in a certain way. But even just having him in, having having him here makes the club a bit more marketable. Like everyone's talking about us right now. City fans will be paying attention to it, and a lot of, a lot of people will be paying attention to how he does as well because he's a big name. You know, he's won the Premier League. He's you know he played at the highest international level as well, of course, with Belgium. So. Yeah, I am very, very excited about about the next few weeks and months and how, how he's going to play at the turf. And I, I do think he will be a success. I don't think we'll go up this season, if I'm being honest, because a, a big, massive turnaround. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed anyway. But I, I am very, very excited about this appointment.